Hello, my name is Joshua Coltrane and I'm a student Dr. Buckner's MAE 535 class. My design project um, or demo project is an LVDT, it's a linear variable displacement transformer. It uses three coils of copper to measure displacement of um, a core, permeable, magnetic permeable core inside the uh, coils. You have a primary coil which is energized, which is in the middle of the two secondary coils, and you have um, these two secondary coils which through induction from the um, core, which is has, has a magnetic field induced in it from the primary coil, um, creates a voltage in the secondary coils proportional to the displacement of your core. Uh, a lot of these uh, are used in uh, flight control actuators and that's where I see mainly um, them in, in my work. The LVDT that I built was um, pretty much, you've got your primary here which is being energized with a little bit more than a, a volt of electricity and you have your two secondary coils on either side. I've got it hooked up here to an AC current source, a function generator, um, and I've got the secondaries hooked up to an O-scope. As you can see, uh, the blue and the yellow are the two different secondary coil uh, voltage sources and the orange which is right here is actually a math function where we've taken the difference which is what the um, the circuitry would actually be doing on the aircraft to measure it. Now I'm going to hold this still and move the core inside and I just displaced it a little bit and you can see that it's kind of going crazy here and now I displaced it a lot favoring one particular side and you can see that my blue waveform has increased in amplitude while my yellow has decreased and if I were to hold the LVDT and move it in the opposite direction can see that the exact opposite is happening. We're at what you call null there, which is where the two secondary voltages are approximately the same and your core is at the zero position. But as I continue to move past null, I get a larger yellow waveform and a smaller blue waveform, the exact opposite of what I had earlier. And again, I'll move back and it'll flip position. Now this is this is a pretty crude LVDT that I've made and um, I'll show you an example of a much smaller, much tightly uh, wound LVDT that I cut apart and you can see that it is just packed with uh, with copper. The middle here is just wound with um, thousands and thousands of turns while your two secondaries are about half the size of your primary. Um, very very accurate LVDTs. They can measure displacements to millionths of an inch. The permeable core for that particular LVDT is this very small piece right here. And I have another LVDT that's actually not been cut and we'll be able to hook this one up and see how much finer it reads in displacement than the homemade one that I just did. And that's its sliding mechanism there. Alright, thank you.